Hello, welcome to Luann's Creative Corner. I'm a librarian at a community college and I run a craft program for kids. Since we aren't able to have activities in person right now, this video is a virtual way to still have an activity. This will be our first ever Halloween or fall activity. We will be making a wiper card, which has a surprise pop-up feature that works a bit like a windshield wiper. I thought the surprise pop-up was a perfect fit for Halloween, and it works great for fall as well. I'm showing here the three cards that I created as samples for the activity. Here is the wiper card in action. I just love the surprise of that pop-up. I don't think I ever get tired of doing it. So let's get started. To start, you will need two pieces of cardstock cut to six and three quarters by four and a fourth. Along the six and three quarters edge, using my scoring tool, I scored both pieces of cardstock at one inch and one and three fourths. Creating score lines first helps to create nice straight folds exactly where you need them on your cardstock. If you don't have a scoring tool, you can use a ruler and a stylus or even something like a butter knife to make the score lines. Now fold on your score lines. Make a valley fold at the one inch score line and a mountain fold at the one and three fourths score line. When you finish both folds, you have a Z shape. For the pop-up wiper piece, start with a piece of cardstock cut to one and three quarters by four inches. Score it on one corner, a half inch from the corner at a 45 degree angle. The quickest way I found to do this was to put the tip of the cardstock corner right at one and a quarter on the side of my score tool and make sure the other corner was also right at one quarter on the top. Then I scored on the half inch line. I'll show another way to do this on a piece of white cardstock so that you can see the line. Measure five eighths from the corner going both ways and make marks on the edge of the cardstock. Connect your marks with a line and then fold on that line. It won't hurt to mark on this cardstock because it won't be seen once the card is put together. Push hard with the pencil as you draw and that will score your cardstock. Fold that corner back and forth several times so that you have a good crease. Put double-sided adhesive on the front of that piece, just in that small triangle. When the front is facing you, the triangle is on the bottom left-hand side. The stamp sets I used for the pop-up characters are retired sets from Stampin' Up! called Cookie Cutter Halloween and Fall Fest. I used the coordinating die from Fall Fest to cut the ghost from white cardstock, and then I drew his face. I suggest drawing it with a pencil first. Then go over your pencil lines with a black marker or pen. The characters from the cookie cutter Halloween set are a mummy, a scarecrow, a skeleton, and a vampire. I used the coordinating punch to cut out the characters and then I colored them with colored pencils and markers. Glue your chosen pop-up character to the top of the wiper piece. Make sure the triangle with adhesive is in the bottom left hand corner. Curve the top corners of the piece with scissors or a corner rounder punch, if you like. Now, turn one of your larger cardstock pieces to the back with the folded lines on the right side. Measure two inches from the bottom edge and draw a straight line between the two folds. Remove the backing from the double-sided adhesive and adhere the front of your wiper piece to the area between the two folds. Make sure the bottom of the wiper piece is straight along the line you drew and that the right side is straight along the fold. You could glue the back on now, but I decided to decorate the front first since I wanted to be able to move the wiper piece out of the way as I was drawing. Either way works. I got that pre-printed shape from the dollar store. It's a speech bubble, but I decided to cut that tip off since the character who would be the one talking is at the top of the card. I also printed a selection of card sentiments on several colors for those participating in my craft program. This is a good tip for anyone who might not have the stamp that says exactly what they want for a card. Create one on your computer, which gives you options of fonts and sizes and paper colors. Then just print it, trim around it, and glue it to your card. I'm using a glue stick instead of the wet glue since the sentiment is printed on paper and not cardstock. If you want to draw spider webs and spiders like I did, but haven't tried drawing something like that before, I suggest practicing first before drawing it on your card. 
Spider webs are just a few straight lines and then some curved lines to connect the straight lines. The lines don't have to be perfect, and really, any imperfections will add to a more spooky Halloween look. To draw a spider, just draw a circle with four legs on both sides. The legs can be curved or bent or straight, whatever you like. Change up the look of your spider with the size and shape of your circle and the type of legs that you draw. Your recipient will love the personalized card with images you drew yourself. I love the look of white colored pencil on black cardstock for Halloween. To glue the back piece to the front, make sure to apply glue only to the rectangular area on the back of that front piece. Make sure no glue touches the wiper piece or it may stick and keep your pop-up from working correctly. I used wet glue here, but use a glue stick if that's all you have. Just make sure to apply a nice amount of glue all over that area. Then carefully match up the back piece so that the edges match. The folded area of the back piece should be on the opposite side of the front piece. Now put glue on the rectangular area of the back piece and glue the other side of the front to it. Again, make sure to put glue only in that rectangular area and make sure to match up the edges of the two pieces as you glue them together. If you used wet glue, give it a minute or so to dry before testing the pop-up feature of your wiper card. You can continue to decorate your card by adding another sentiment along the side of your card. There's that area there which isn't visible until your recipient pulls on the card to activate the pop-up, so I think that's a fun place to put an additional sentiment. And it's also a good idea to put some uh, add some pull here directions on both sides of the front bottom corners so your recipient will know how to work the card. One of my cards that you'll see later in the video used pull here sentiments inside an arrow, which came from Lawn Fawn's Push Here stamp set. On the back of your card, you can add a layering piece of cardstock. Cut to 4 and 3 quarters by 4 inches and use either wet glue or a glue stick um, to adhere it to the back of the card. You can add another sentiment here, um, add some more decoration if you'd like, draw another picture. This is also the place where you can write a personal message for your recipient. And once you're happy with all of your decorating, your card is done. Have fun testing out that wiper pop-up feature. One of my other sample cards featured a jack-o'-lantern which was a pumpkin cut from some orange cardstock. The die I used is Ellison's Pumpkin Number no. 2. This pumpkin would work great as a fall card, or he easily becomes a jack-o'-lantern with a personalized face that you draw to look however you would like. I drew mine with a pencil first, and then went over the pencil lines with Crayola markers. I also added a bit of color around the edges with a simple makeup sponge and a green ink pad. You can get a pack of makeup sponges for a dollar at Dollar Tree. For my fall themed card, I cut Ellison's Leaf Maple Number no. 2 from, from red cardstock and used a makeup sponge and the same green ink pad to add some dimension around the edges and inside the leaf to add some soft vein details. I tried red ink first, but it didn't show up as well as I wanted. The green worked out really well. I hope you'll enjoy making a fall or Halloween themed wiper card. This type of card can work for many different occasions, but I had a lot of fun designing some for Halloween and fall. I would love to see pictures of the wiper cards you create. Our next activity will be a freestanding Christmas or winter spinner card. So watch for a video on that very soon. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.